Well, hello there, Capricorn. How are you? It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we're just checking in, um, asking Spirit, what is it that you need to know at this time? So this, um, actually, this reading is good whenever you find it, and um, it's allowing you to see what is on the horizon and what you may not see coming, and how you can better prepare for it and any obstacles on your path that may preventing from um, having some a beautiful wonderful energy come towards you so let's take a look at um, your soul travelers card and the animal spirit card to begin value courage take action with passion love that and snake spirit time to heal and it's the number 55 so Capricorn the the number 55 is a um, master number and fives are all about change understanding that it's time to shed some skin okay um, shed some beliefs some habits it, some um, mindset, some thinking pattern that you may have about a certain situation um, in order to be able to heal that situation, okay? Um, and healing doesn't mean that you're actually like reuniting with someone or something like that, but it's about allowing yourself to have peace and harmony, um, especially in your thinking around a certain situation, right? Healing is really when we allow ourselves to take a look at perhaps something that we don't want to take a look at, finding a different perspective about something that is going on in our life so that we can shed that sense of um, a mindset or, or, or a belief around a certain thing, right? When we allow ourselves to see the different perspective of something, it helps us to shine a light on our fears or, or our sense of kind of like holding on to why something is going the way it is, right? And therefore, we are allowed to heal it. Uh, whenever we shine light onto our own wounds to what we can heal, we can't necessarily change somebody else's perspective of a situation, right? But when we allow ourselves to see their perception of a, um, or perspective of a situation, whether that's in a job, a, a career, the, the, the globe, <laughs> a relationship, it allows us to be able to heal it. Um, and that is one of the things that is part of our soul progress, right? Is allowing ourselves to not only see things from our perspective, but allowing ourselves to see things from different people's perspective. Not that we have to agree with their perspective, but just being open to listening to what other people may have to say about a certain situation. So I feel as if this is in a a sector of your life, perhaps your career or your job, a financial situation that you're dealing with or a relationship where you, you may have found yourself kind of like constricted, okay, <laughs> with the, like a boa constrictor, right? Constricted in some aspect of your life because you, you had a certain perception of the situation or you were holding on to some certain expectation or belief about that situation. It's almost when you allow yourself to kind of like see it from a different perspective that all of a sudden you have the courage to take the action that you really need to. It allows you to, I want to say this has something to do with, you know, just allowing yourself to see something in a different perspective. Right. And this is probably one of those situations where you feel like you've been banging your head up against a wall. <laughs> right. It's um, that energy of feeling like you can't convince somebody else to uh, uh, to see your perspective. Right. Um, so that could be a boss that could be, you know, uh, something that's going on in your in society or on the globe or something like that. It's kind of like feeling like, oh my goodness, why can't somebody else see things my way? And it, and it could have to do with your finances. It could be in a relationship, right? But it's when you also allow yourself to try to see it from somebody else's perspective, you actually get the answer that you're seeking in how to make change in this situation. That's the really kind of interesting thing about this energy. I hope I'm uh, I'm articulating it clearly. It's it's like the solution 
comes to you, you find the solution to whatever the situation is. When you just allow yourself to see it from somebody else's perspective, right? And when you see it from their perspective, it's almost like you get the clarity about how to resolve the situation or perhaps allows you to, to say, okay, I'm walking away from this situation because you really and truly understand you're not going to change that person's perspective or ever find a compromise or something like that. Um, yes, it's uh, very much an energy of recognizing that sometimes oh, we can't, I, and I feel like you know this Capricorn, you're not going to change the other person's mindset, right? But it's about being able to find a compromise when you allow yourself to take a look at it from their perspective. I feel like this is a situation where maybe you feel like you're you're just at odds, you know, like th there is no resolution. And I know for some of you, you may be saying, <laughs> I don't want to compromise, right? But if you're not willing to compromise, then it's also about understanding that you you have the courage then to take a look at the situation and just go in a different direction. It's allowing yourself to release, kind of like release the need to try to change. You're putting time and energy into trying to change somebody else's mind about something, right? Once again, it could be your boss, it could be a neighbor, it could be um, a family member, a friend, you know, it could be society at all, <laughs> at large, it's kind of like, why can't people see it from my perspective? But the way that you get people to understand your perspective in this situation is when you first allow yourself to have the courage to take a look at it from their perspective. It's very much like um, uh, I have a business degree, you know, from 100 years ago. And when I took a marketing class, you know, it was all about when you're trying to sell something to somebody is getting in the mindset of the customer right? Allowing yourself to see the customer's perspective, you know, what's holding them back from buying your product. What, what, how are you helping that person to solve a problem in their life, right? It's not about just here, buy my product. It's about understanding the perspective of the person that you're dealing with. And I think you have been trying to do that, Capricorn, so I'm not, but it's about allowing yourself to really allow yourself to surrender, to let go of your perspective, because it's almost like, well, I understand their perspective, but they don't understand mine. It's kind of like, all right, I'm going to allow myself to step out of my mindset and really allow myself to see things from somebody else's perspective. So maybe you're you're trying to um, convince your boss, right, to give you a raise, or you're trying to uh, convince a, a family member or a loved one to 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 do something. Maybe even something that's good for them, right? But it's kind of like understanding that the way, the approach that you're using at this time is not going to allow you to get kind of the, the outcome that you're looking for. Because I feel like you want something that is going to go the distance. This is something you really don't want to walk away from. It's almost like this energy of like, no, I, I want this situation to work out. I want my boss to give me a raise or I want the, that promotion or I want this change at, at my job, right? Or I want a, a relationship to change in a different way. You know, I want the, the other person. <laughs> it's very much that energy of feeling very frustrated. I feel, Capricorn, you're extremely frustrated in this situation, right? But it's understanding that part of it is that you have to have the courage to do two things. First of all, really take a, a look at it from the perspective of the person that you're frustrated with at this time. Okay, and then the other thing is to have the courage to be able to walk away from the situation as like you're you're wasting your time and energy um, trying to just convince this person to change or change their mind or do something different as it's. It's the definition of insanity, right, is of doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. 
that's the frustration that you're having at this time. Okay, so, wow. Okay, so for some of you, this is really interesting. You have the king and queen of pentacles, and then you have the king of cups. So for some of you, you could actually be in a third-party situation, and you're trying to convince somebody, okay? And I'm going to say, it doesn't have to be like a romantic third-party situation. It could be that, you know, um, you feel as if, you know, um, your boss prefers somebody else in in the work environment, right? Is kind of like preferring somebody else. And then you feel like the third person left out. Right. Or it could be in a, a family situation where, you know, you feel like two people are kind of on one side of some situation that you're dealing with. Right. And you're on the other is a kind of like understanding that I feel like you you kind of feel like you're at you, you're you're outnumbered. <laughs> That's the energy. You feel like you're outnumbered. Either that or you feel like you got some people on your side, but this person is really important in order for the the situation to resolve and go in the in the in the direction that you want. I feel like for some of you, you may have a third party situation, right? Where, you know, there's two people, they could even be married, and maybe you're the, you know, the third party, okay? Or you could be part of the partnership. And somebody in this partnership has a third party and is kind of like trying to convince this person to leave the other person, right? There's something about trying to do that. But the thing is, is that you're, you're not going to change this person's mind at this time because the thing is, is that there, you're, you're not in the position yet of being willing to walk away from the situation. It's kind of like seeing it from their perspective and then it's kind of like, okay, if I can't walk away, if they're not going to change, am I willing to walk away from the situation? Because you have the death card and the king of swords. I think analytically, when you look at it, you know that you're wasting time and energy in giving your time and energy to trying to change somebody's mind. It's kind of like, They've dug in and I feel like a little bit like maybe you have dug in too, but it's about having the courage, right? Having the courage. I'm going my own way. I'm willing to do that if I can't. It's about being really true to yourself. And I feel like for some of you, you really are. You're walking away. You're saying, I have to take myself in a new direction because I'm not going to get what I want here. So let's take a look at your obstacle. Yes, here you are, the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, you could be the person that's in some type of a relationship or a business situation, okay? But there's something else, and it doesn't have to be another person, but there's something else that is kind of playing havoc in your happiness in this situation. So it's kind of like understanding, what is it that I deserve? Do I deserve to be in a relationship or a situation where it's compatible, right? And and allowing yourself to see it from the other person's perspective, but then at the same time saying, I'm willing to walk away. I feel like part of the thing here is, is that you haven't been able to get to the place where you're willing to walk away. You're allowing yourself to stay in a situation, trying putting your time and energy into trying to change somebody else's mind instead of putting your time and energy into going in the direction, in a direction that is more generous, more giving, right? More uh, uh, more in alignment with what it is that you truly want. Yeah, I feel like it's time to decide. Does this situation, especially if it's a romantic situation or a family or friend situation, is, is it... Is it reciprocal? <laughs> Are you getting out of the situation what you're putting into the situation? And if you're not, it's kind of like time to decide. I think you, you're just putting yourself, you're putting your life on hold. I'm going to put it that way, Capricorn. I feel like what your, your guides want you to know is you're putting your life on hold, hoping that this person is going to change their mind, hoping that things are going to change. It's kind of like a wake up call. 
That's kind of like, they're not going to change. So can you see it from their perspective and then also at the same time change your perspective to stay in the situation, to find more happiness and joy in the situation, knowing that that person's not going to change and that is how you're going to have to continue going forward in this situation is understanding they're not going to change. So I'm going to try to understand their perspective, but understanding that they're not going to change or am I going to allow myself to go in a new direction to find the sense of happiness? Yeah, and joy. I, I feel like for most of you, this is a decision to leave a situation where the other person is not going to change, whether that's your boss, right? Or the company that you work for, or the society that you live in, or the, the energy of a relationship. It's kind of like, okay, I can't change this. So I either have to change my perspective to include theirs or I have to allow myself to change and move in a different direction. Yeah, because I think what you're understanding, your advice here is that this situation is fragmenting your energy. You're putting so much time and energy into trying to change this situation or this person's mind. And meanwhile, <laughs> it's holding you back from this beautiful experience. I totally understand because I think sometimes when, and this could be one of those like family situations where you understand, I think you have a loving heart here, Capricorn, and you're trying to help somebody. You're trying to help someone make, make their life even better, right? It's, or you're trying to help, like say that if this is a company or a business, right? You're trying to make make it work better for everybody. Like I really feel like you're trying to do good in this situation, but also understanding that you're trying to change something that's not going to change. And you're depleting yourself of energy because you're trying to figure out how to change it. It's kind of like, take your, take your energy back, right? Don't allow this situation to drain you anymore. Say, I'm not going to find what I want in this situation. So either I have to change the way I'm going to approach this situation and no longer try to change this person, but therefore change my perspective of my job or the relationship so that I find more happiness and joy in the situation, knowing it's not going to change, right? So I'm only going to change my mindset about the situation or I have to go in a different direction. Yeah, and I feel like you have the judgment card, you have the two of wands. This is a crossroads. It's, it's all, it is one of those situations. And I feel like you are going in a different direction. I love it. You're saying, no, I love myself enough that I'm willing to go in a different direction. You know, it's one of those situations where I wouldn't be surprised if you allow yourself to leave the situation to say, I am leaving. I, this is not what I deserve. I understand what I deserve. I'm healing the, that aspect that's keeping me in a situation that is not what I deserve, right? That you're actually healing that energy within you. But I feel like also for some of you, when you make that drastic change, this situation is not going to change because you're actually not changing. <laughs> so when you step into the energy of saying, I am walking away from the situation because this person, the situation isn't going to change. So I'm going in another direction. I actually feel like it helps you to actually change the situation. So it would be like, say you have a job and you're, you, you feel like you're not being compensated for the work that you do in this situation. You've been talking to your boss about giving you a pay raise or more vacation or better benefits or whatever it is in order to make it more balanced, right? And your boss keeps saying, I'm sorry, I can't, I, I don't have anything else to give, right? But you're putting time and energy. You're constantly, perhaps, trying to convince your boss that you deserve a raise or you deserve more benefits or whatever it is. But you keep getting the same answer. 
It's understanding. Okay, the boss isn't going to change as your energy is this time. So it's either looking at the situation and say, okay, my boss isn't going to change. So how am I going to change my mindset about my job? right? Maybe you're, you're going to pull back some of your time and energy and not over give, right? Not uh, like overwork yourself. Say, okay, if that's all he can pay, then I'm going to pull back some of my time and energy. I'm not going to um, work overtime, right? For free, or I'm not going to, you know, what, whatever it is, you're going to change your mindset about it. You're going to find a way to change your mindset about the job, but I think also for some of you, you actually walk away from the job. There is this energy where you walk away from the job. You say, okay, fine. And you quit. You find another job. You quit this job. And I feel like your boss suddenly has the money <laughs> to either pay you, right? Or to make it more, more um, equitable because there's something out of out of balance here. But Capricorn, you're you're focusing on what's out of balance instead of focusing on what it is that you deserve and going after what you deserve. You're focusing on the what's not in balance here and therefore you're getting more of what we concentrate is what we get. So you're getting more in balance in the situation. In fact, the situation could be getting worse and worse. <laughs> so it's kind of like, okay, instead I'm going to focus on what I deserve and make, take action, take courageous action to go after what I know I deserve. A different job, a different relationship, a different, you know, for some of you, you, you could be even moving homes, cities, countries, saying this isn't working for me. I'm making a change. Wow. Powerful energy here, Capricorn. And it's interesting with that Pluto that was in, you know, your sign in your first house. I feel like you're understanding that now that it's in your second house, Pluto has moved into Aquarius. Your understanding, I want more reciprocality out of my relationships, my job, whatever it is. And I'm willing to take, make major changes in my life in order to have that. Wow, but really amazing energy. Okay, so here's your soul truth card. In Capricorn, I do do um, personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. All right, am I afraid to be seen? Yes, I feel like that's part of this, right? It's kind of like you're afraid to stand up. I feel like you're trying to work this situation. You're trying to convince somebody, but you're having a hard time truly standing up for yourself in the situation, having the courage to say, listen, this is what I deserve in this situation. It's almost like I feel like you're having conversations, but you're not standing in your power enough to say, I want change in this situation or I'm moving on to a new situation. Whether that, once again, is a relationship or a job situation, it's saying, it's kind of like, I don't want to say it's an ultimatum because it's really not. It's about you stepping into your power of saying, this is what I need out of this situation or I need to focus on, I need to take my time and energy and focus on creating something new in my life. Um, the world doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Time to shine your unique light on the world. You were made from love and from love you are whole. There is no more hiding. There is no more shame. There is only truth. Live naked and free. And when I was reading that, I got the message. You were made from um, love and from love you are whole. It's a time for you to love yourself enough that you're, you're willing to either take a, a different approach to what you have and just accept that it's not going to change and love yourself enough that you make some internal changes in the way that you're showing up to the situation or you say, I'm, I'm going in a new direction. Wow, powerful. I feel, <laughs> I feel empowered. <laughs> all right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. I love you so much. Thank you so much for all of your support um, by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.